Welcome to another edition of Saturdays with Sage. Today, um, Sage and I are going to tell you a little bit about what's going on uh, with his training, and we're going to call this video Confessions of a Trainer. Um, if you look back in the video series that we've done, long ago I explained how soft Sage was. Didn't take much pressure to train him, have to take your time. Well, the trainer wasn't listening to what the trainer was saying. Uh, therefore, it, 10 months old, I've been pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing Sage to the point he's just about shut down on me, quit on me completely. Um, so therefore, I have to look in the mirror and say, okay, is this my fault? Is it the way I'm doing things fault? Is it the dog's fault? Where does the fault lie? Um, and for me personally, for this situation, 99.9% .9 of that weight falls on my shoulders as the trainer. Um, I have done something with him as far as the pressure applied, as far as trying to move forward, not making it fun, um, to where his brain is, is almost locked up. Um, he, he just thinks it's better just, a lot of times when we're in the field, he thinks it's better just to be next to me than it is to be out working and enjoying things. So, you know, hindsight 2020, um, with Sage, I would have probably not done a darn thing with him for the first six, seven, maybe even eight months, other than just getting to become to me, okay? Let him enjoy life, let him enjoy the field, let him enjoy being with me, but at the same time adventuring out and exploring things. Let him enjoy, you know, this is almost a dirty word to me, but free running for a retrieve. Um, let him enjoy, another dirty word is almost chasing birds like you'd let a bird dog do just to get that drive up. His drive is there. I know his mom. I know his dad. I own both of them. It's there. But I think if pressure was applied early to either one of them, I think we would end up to where we are with Sage. You can see, I mean, he's a super little guy willing to sit on his box, um, his gunner kennel all day long. He goes to the office with me. He lays on his place all day long. Um, so he's very obedient. Once we get his training done, once we get him to understand hey, this is fun, this is enjoyable, that you're not in trouble for doing anything wrong, he's gonna be the easiest dog ever for somebody to handle. It's freeing his mind, if you will. Um, I wish I could say that I'm the one that, that diagnosed all my problems, I'm not. Um, I talked to another trainer in upstate New York last weekend um, named Fred Bradley and said, Fred, here are my problems. What, what do I need to do? Um, and Fred's advice was, you need to stop the field, period six weeks, don't even go to the field, stay in the yard, get dirty with him, get on the ground, let him, let him get on you. When he, when he comes back to you, let him jump up on you. Um, once I'm out with him working, Fred said, and you see him starting to free his mind, to enjoy it a little bit, stop. Let that be where we end the lesson on or the day on, not where we keep pushing to get more and more and more and more. Um, one thing we're working on is what he's doing right now. He's never been on top of that, never been allowed to get on top of that until the last couple days. Now it's just, hey, it's fun. Let's jump up on something. Let's get off something. Let's get in our kennel. Let's get out of our kennel. It's fun, enjoyable. You can watch him when I'm out. You can see when he starts to relax. His tail really starts going hard. He starts enjoying it. If you look back at some of the last videos that I did, um, the trailing memory and the sight memory, you watch his tail. Not that his tail is going to be going 1,000 miles an hour all the time, but it was almost tucked up underneath him. I don't think, and I may be wrong, I don't think that's how Sage is gonna be his whole life working. Um, his dad is like that a little bit, but a lot of times once you let him go and let him work, the tail really goes to work too. So I felt like I, as the trainer um, of Sage, needed to explain to you guys, the audience, what's happening with Sage. I haven't done any videos for a long time. Um, like I said, it's my fault. Uh, I just was putting a lot of pressure on him and it wasn't going anywhere. I, I put extra pressure on myself because this is the Cubby Rise mascot. That's a really big deal to me that I give them the absolute best dog that I possibly can. But what that's going to mean right now is Sage is kind of on training vacation, so to speak. Not that we're not going to be out working every day. We are, but it's going to be more of just enjoy the little things in life and enjoy the process. I, I'm going to try to enjoy the process as opposed to pushing and making things happen. Um, you know, you, you can't push a rope, but you, once the, you can pull a rope to you easier. I, I was pushing a rope and I was getting nowhere fast. So just going to back up, 
um, enjoy it, let Sage's mind loosen up a little bit and see what happens. He and I are gonna be going to North Dakota along with most of the other dogs here in a couple weeks. So hopefully you'll see some pictures and videos. Sage will not absolutely 100% not be in the field working, um, but it's just gonna be a road trip for him and I to just hang out in the truck for a short 17 hour trip up there and back. So thank you guys for your patience in this. I hope this is helpful. If you have a dog like Sage, just relax. Um, again, I need to look in the mirror every day and tell myself that, but just relax, enjoy the process, enjoy the dog. If you have the genetics, which I know I do with Sage, then it's all gonna be there. It's just a matter of what methods do I have to use to get there? What do I have to do as the trainer to get there? Dog training is, is, a, is a very boring activity. It's a lot of repetition. I'm very thankful that all, not all dogs are the same. You know, I get a dog like Sage, I get to continually learn how to craft my art, if you will, um, of training. Um, and again, you heard me say, I reached out to other people. You know, there's times you don't know all the answers. Don't be afraid to ask. Um, we're, we're all humans. They're all dogs. Nobody's perfect. We just try to do the best we can with what we've got. So have a great weekend, guys. Thank you so much. And Sage and I look forward to being back with you in a few weeks with another edition of Saturdays with Sage. Good boy, Sage. That's a good boy. <laughs>